Well, I won't bore you with leveling this thing out because it's going to take a while. It'll probably take a couple days to level this sawmill back out. It did take a couple times of leveling it the first time I put it over there because it will settle in the dirt, especially dirt that I just moved around. There's some spots that are kind of hard and other spots are just soft, fluffy dirt over here. So I've got it. The track is loose from the frame and I've got the frame leveled out on the ground right now. I'd use the bottle jack jack it up in different areas and then threw some dirt underneath it so it would level out but i'm going to bring a bunch of water up here and soak the ground so that all those light fluffy dirt kind of packs down and i'm guessing that i'm going to have to level it again after that because it's probably going to settle a little bit more i do have some adjustment on the feet that bolt the track to the frame i think there's maybe an inch of adjustment so maybe i have to throw some more dirt underneath the frame maybe i don't I guess we'll find out in a couple of days and all that water dries out. Now I did strap this thing with the wooden framework underneath it. I didn't use the straps around the track itself, around the sawmill itself. I didn't want to pull on the sawmill track itself. I wanted to pull on the framework underneath it because the framework underneath it was going to have the drag from the ground, not the track on top. And I didn't really want to put any more twist than I had to on the metal framework. So. I did make sure I strapped the wooden frame, not the track from the sawmill. This seemed to work all right though. A couple little tugs here and there and uh, it slid right over there. Pretty stout unit right there. It is meant you can buy a trailer and kit for this, which comes with wheels and lights and a little tongue for the trailer so you can attach to the back of your truck and you can pull it down the road. It does have a locking mechanism to keep the sawmill from sliding back and forth also. But I don't have that attachment. I didn't want it. I'm not going to trailer this anywhere. It's going to stay on my property and I'm going to bring logs to it. So I didn't feel like spending the extra money on that part of the sawmill. And the whole reason I moved this sawmill is because where it was sitting right here, where the backhoe is sitting now, it was getting kind of hard to get a log over here. Number one, I have all this scrap laying around that I need to figure out what I'm going to do. A lot of this stuff is so warped and twisted, it's really no good anymore. So I'll probably end up composting a lot of this over in that composting pile that I covered with dirt. But this area right here, especially with the fence we put in, the logs are all sitting right up there. It's gonna be really hard to get a log from up there, bring it down through all this and load it on the sawmill. Now I've got a little bit of cleanup work to do over here also, but all the logs sitting right here, I can come in between these trees pick them up with the forks and go right out that way, that direction. Bring them right down through here and then right over there to the sawmill. Set them down, load them up in the sawmill, mill them out. And all the wood I mill can go right on the other side of the sawmill. I can stack it up over here in this nice big large flat area or I can stack it up over where the backhoe is parked over there. It's my large compost area right here. This is the second time I've added this area up close to this oak tree, kind of where my dog's laying down. I put a bunch of logs and rotten pieces of tree and then covered them in dirt. So I'm just kind of adding on to that. Put a bunch of the sawmill scraps down. After I moved the sawmill, I grabbed a bunch of this uh, wood sawdust, whatever you call that stuff and the bark that had peeled off of the logs before I rolled them up on the sawmill. Brought that over here, laid it down, and then I grabbed some dirt from this kind of area right here, put it over top of those logs, all that scrap wood. I've got my little natural composters out here doing their thing. They love me right now because I just turned up a bunch of dirt over here and where the sawmill used to be, exposed all those bugs. So they're going through doing, doing their thing, getting some dinner. 
I'm gonna get on bringing a bunch of water up here. Unfortunately, I don't have a hose that'll reach all the way up here, so it's gonna be a bunch of five gallon buckets. But I'm gonna saturate the ground up around the sawmill here, and let it set overnight. Till next time, guys, go make something. What are you doing, Thea? Let's say hi to the camera. Yeah, no licks. You need to go lay down so I can make a video. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. It's not time for attention. It's not time for attention, Thea. You're bringing everybody over here, teaching them how to use their paw. Yeah. Get attention from each other. Bunch of goofballs. No. Be nice.